Buongiorno. I'm Lydia Vasianic, chef, cookbook author, TV personality, cooking. But here I'm talking about one of my favorite recipes, and that is risotto. Risotto alla milanese. Few, few ingredients. Rice, some onions as a base, a little bit of olive oil, a good pot of stock, a good chicken stock, and about 18 to 20 minutes, you got yourself a wonderful pot of risotto. You finish it off with some butter and some grana padano, and you have the marvel of what is a creamy risotto. But the Milanese risotto is a little extra. It has the addendum of saffron and a little bit of the bone marrow. And kind of just take bone with the marrow, and you get the marrow right out like that. Let's chop it up just a little bit. Let's put it in with a little bit of oil. We add the onions, chopped onions, a little bit of shallots, just a little bit of salt, a stock on the side, bring it to quasi-boiling situation, and we will slowly create the risotto once we have the rice in there. Just a little bit to loosen up those little specks in there and, and the onions, it will wilt, and we put the rice right in there. And now we let the rice toast a bit. And how do you know when it's toasted? A few minutes. You hear that kind of crackling sound. You add the white wine before anything else. What this does is that the rice, the kernel, absorbs in the acidity and the flavor of the wine. The other big flavoring element is the saffron. The saffron is the dry pistils of the crocus flowers, as I said, and you want to reconstitute it. So. Not too much, a, long will go, a little bit will go a long way, not too much. And always get the pistils. You can buy uh, uh, saffron powder, but you don't know exactly what's milled in there. The pistils like this, the strings uh, are the right way to, to, to buy and to use saffron. And to that, we'll add some hot stock and we'll let that reconstitute. Let's see, I'm looking at the color. You see the beautiful color of the saffron coming through and the flavor. And the risotto is cooking. Now, the legend behind this great dish. Well, it's all about the magnificent Duomo di Milano. It has 600 spires and each spire has a saint. And you can imagine how many artists it took to, to build that, to organize. And it's a continuous work in process. It's a continuous work of restoration. There was one specific artist, a glazier. It was Maestro Valerio de Fiandra. His assistant is really who's responsible for Risotto la Milanese. His assistant lived in the surroundings, had a family. His daughter was getting married, and he was going to do a party on the grounds. He went into the laboratory where they were uh, doing the glass and the painting and put a big pot on for risotto. Risotto everybody loved, was a luxury, was a delicious dish. And as he was busy moving and, and cooking, the little jar of saffron fell into the risotto and this beautiful hue of gold came over the risotto. It looked beautiful, it smelled beautiful. It is part of a flower, it's quite edible and hence the risotto la milanese was born. The Duomo, it's a magnificent place. Every time I go to Milano, I must pay homage to this beautiful Duomo. And I look at it from afar, I look at all this, uh, the stipples. Uh, I look at, it looks like it's, it's made out of icicles. It looks like a, a fairy tale. We need to bring maintain, keep evermore the brilliance in that beautiful, masterful piece of work. And to that end, there's a crowdfunding project going on 
And yes, you can be part. With as little as $10, you can be part and help to maintain, restore this beautiful legend. Go on foritaly.org, all one word, foritaly.org. The last step in a great risotto is mantecare. And mantecare means to kind of whip things together. So some butter, room temperature, some grana padana, grated grana padana, and first we'll put in the butter. And then we add the grana padano. Okay. Whip that in there. Mmm. The risotto is fatto. A little bit more of grana. Mm -mm. And some good white wine and the risotto is done. It's time for you to become part of this wonderful tradition, culture, to go to foritaly.org and support, support the continuum of keeping Italy beautiful and its monuments vibrant and alive. Save the saint.